Happy second day of asynchronous learning. If you're part of group A, then this should be Thursday that you are watching this video. If you're part of group B, then this should be Tuesday. If you are watching on any day that is not Thursday or Tuesday for your appropriate group, then you are watching this video on the incorrect day. So please make sure you're following along and following the directions. If you have any questions, please email me. If you're part of my online group, that means you were probably absent today in class when we went over this. We are doing this lesson on Thursday. So if you watch this video ahead of time as an online student, please hold off on doing this until class together on the Class Connect on Thursday. Actually, I'm giving you permission if you are a fully online student, just exit out of this video and hold off because I do not want you to work on this ahead of time. You will be working on this in class on Thursday during the Class Connect. So let's just double check that we're all on the same page. So if you are part of Group A, then you are watching this on Thursday. If you are part of Group B, you're watching this on Tuesday. And then if you're still on the video right now and you're part of my online class, remember we're doing this in class on Thursday. The only reason you should be watching this if you're a fully online student is because you were absent on Thursday. All right, so today what we're gonna be doing is we are going to be taking a diagnostic test. Now, when you hear test, oftentimes kids freak out, but this no red ink diagnostic test is going to be a good indicator for both me as a teacher, but also for you as a student on how much grammar you already naturally know, but then also what you have learned from this year. So a diagnostic is a tool that we use to help us figure out what you need help with. By completing a diagnostic, this will show us what you have learned over the year, as well as what you still need help understanding. It will help us understand what skills we need to focus on for the rest of the year. So well, let's just talk about the diagnostic for a second before we get started. So what you are to do right now, you are to log on to your No Red Ink account. Now we have never used No Red Ink for our class, so what everyone needs to do right now is go to their Google Classroom page, select the asynchronous day two No Red Ink diagnostic. You're gonna open that up and you are going to click on the first link that's right here, the first No Red Ink link. So you're going to click on that and it is going to ask you to sign up as a student. So you are going to sign up as a student and double check that at the top it says Mrs. A. Smith's uh, or Mrs. Smith's English class. I don't think I put A. Smith for this one. So you're going to sign up as a student um, and if you've already created a No Red Ink account, say like a previous English teacher had you do this, then you can log in with Google. Okay, but please sign up as a student if you've never used this before. Then you're going to make sure that you signed up for my class. So you'll see my little name. It's going to have a different name up uh, that pops up and you'll make sure that you can sign in with Google. All right, and then you're going to return back to this video. So let's look at some of the example questions you are going to encounter on this diagnostic. So in just a moment, I'm going to have you, let me move my face. Uh, there, right there. Oh, okay. <laughs> I didn't want to switch my slide. Okay, we're going to move me here. Perfect. We got it. All right. So some of your example questions are going to ask you to uh, look at parts of speech, which is something we have covered this year. So it's going to give you an example sentence like when the actor buys a new car, the actor will give Gail Hawthorne his old one. So you are supposed to replace the highlighted words with the correct pronoun. This is a text box and you will delete the actor and type in the new answer. The question mark by the question opens a tutorial about how to answer these in general. So if you're wondering how to answer a question, just click on this question mark and it'll help you out. If you come across a word you do not know, you can also use your computer as a resource to look it up. Some of these questions are gonna ask you to tell me if there's an error or not. So you'll read the sentence and you'll tell me if this has an error or no error. Um, and then another question is gonna ask you to select pronouns that refer to the words in bold. So for this question, you select the pronoun that matches smoothies. 
the words highlighted as you scroll over them and then you click over the correct one. So you would tell me which word is related to smoothies. So for your assignment for today, you are to go to Google Classroom, select the asynchronous day two, and then you're gonna open up the other login link for No Red Ink, and this one's going to take you directly to the diagnostic. It'll look something like this. It'll have your name if you have correctly logged in, and then you're going to select the No Red Ink diagnostic, and once you're done with all 32 questions, you are free to log off. That's all you need to do today. And I'm just gonna tell you right now, if you do poorly on this, that is a-okay. It just tells us what we need to improve on over the next seven weeks left of school. All right, so follow the directions, make sure you're watched through this whole video, and then make sure you logged into No Red Ink and you took the diagnostic. If you need help, feel free to send me a message and I can check out to see if something's wrong on my end, okay? But good luck, and when you're done with the diagnostic, you're done with today's assignment.